cats were brought to Europe from Egypt by the Romans and enjoyed a decent reputation for a long time, probably because they were such a boon to agricultural societies. Vermin did a number on harvests, but cats were nature's perfect solution. They literally can't eat anything that isn't meat, which means that they pose no risk to the crops. Meanwhile, they need that meat on the regular and know how to get it, so they're great at killing and eating vermin. My guess is this had something to do with ancient cat worship in places like Egypt which made its clams by farming the fertile land around the Nile. In the 1,230 seconds, this changed. On the 13th of June 1233, Pope Gregory IX issued a papal bull called Vox in Rama that linked cats to Satanism and witchcraft. Being the nephew of Pope Innocent III and having studied theology at the University of Paris Hugo was from a young age very into his spiritual side. Beginning as a diplomat he eventually became a cardinal deacon and was very involved in the business of European countries and such. He was well liked by the Pope and Frederick II and this was a large reason as to why he ascended to the throne. Catholics around the continent began slaughtering any feline that entered their property. We may still see the effects of the mass cat slaughter today. It's been suggested that the small black cat population in Europe today is a direct result of that breed being deemed particularly devil-like. Throughout most of the medieval period, Cats had a horrendous time and were tortured and culled in huge numbers. Annual festivals where cats were killed sprung up, and some of them continue to this day, although happily, in a much nicer form. Cat burning and other forms of cat hating have survived the centuries since. Many scholars believe it was because of depleted cat numbers that the Black Death, carried by rats from the East, was able to gain a foothold in Europe. So, as a consequence of a papal dislike of felines, Around half of all Europeans died in the most fatal pandemic in human history. In Belgium, an entire festival, Kattenstoet, is dedicated to throwing cats from buildings and burning them in the streets. Queen Elizabeth I celebrated her coronation with the burning of a cat-stuffed effigy. So, cats went from being the targets of pagan worship to Catholic contempt for these perceived similarities to the devil. This seems to add up for the modern reader. Medieval people were indeed superstitious. They fly in the face of the Christian idea of God putting the natural world and its creatures here for humanity's benefit. People can make all manner of animals do what we like. We can teach oxen to plow, dogs to fetch game, elephants to paint, and ravens to hold grudges. But you can't make a cat do anything. And that's because its body is invested with the spirit of the morning star himself. From there, it's just a couple of logical leaps to the connection to the Black Death, inspired by Pope Greg Nine's bull. Everyone across Europe killed off all the cats. Then, when the rats came bearing the plague, there were no mousers left to keep the disease in check. Medieval cats were mysteriously slain in Cambridge, England, by the townsfolk in the 13th century. People in medieval Ypres, Belgium, had a festival called Kattenstoet where they'd throw cats from the Belfry Tower to symbolize the killing of evil spirits. Though, really, they were dealing with a cat infestation and decided to make it an excuse to drink.